Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to show you how to create conditional formula by using the map function. Firstly, we need the array. If you have more than one array, either to be used in setting the condition or to be involved in the calculation, we should select them separately. Let's consider this example where our intention is to obtain total revenue that fulfill all these conditions. Select separately, select date, comma, follow by the second array, let's select the code, comma, the third array, price, comma, the last array, quantity, comma, proceed to the formula by using the lambda function. And we can now set the condition and the calculation that we need in order to return the value that we are looking for. Since we have one, two, three, four arrays here, which means that we need four parameters. Simply give any letter to represent each of these arrays. We can use a for the first array, B for the second array, C for the third, and D for the fourth. Remember to use corner in between the parameters. And now, corner to write the condition or the calculation. We can use the if function to set the logical test. Since we have two conditions here, if we wish either of this match, but not necessarily to be all, we can use the all operator. However, if is a must to fulfill all these conditions, we should use an operator. Bracket, set the logical test. Firstly, compare the cutoff point. So which means that we need the date and the date is the first parameter use a and we should set if let's say we are looking for the date before this color point use less than symbol select the color point and place comma press it to the second logical test that is compare the code which is the second parameter use b and this time we should set exactly equal to the code close bracket to end the end function comma the value to be written if the condition matched that is the revenue that we are looking for. Recall that revenue is equal to price times quantity, which are the third and the fourth parameters respectively. So we take the third, which is C, times the fourth parameter. Otherwise, that is when the condition is not matched. So we have a value of zero. Close bracket to end the E function. Close bracket to end the lambda function. Close bracket to end the map function. Press enter. And we should obtain a series of revenues. And our intention here is to obtain total revenue, which means that in front of the math function, we should use the sum function bracket, move to the end and close bracket. Press enter again and we should obtain total revenue for the corresponding conditions as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.